Everybody's heard about social media, but what we're going to do is take a look behind the scenes on what it takes to execute it in your retail environment. I am the Wizard of Pause. Now, unfortunately, this is a short video, and because of that, an enormous amount of information identified in this video is behind the scenes of this show. Blogs, social networks, forums, message boards, video, photo sharing. When most people think of, of social media, they think of one of these type programs. But from a technology perspective, these are the user interfaces to this world. Here we will explore some of the technology components necessary to help make retailers successful with this world. Basically, about what goes on under the covers. We will now dive into a variety of areas where social media has the potential to dramatically impact the retail world. Warning, please buckle up your seatbelt and keep your hands inside the cart. Social media is about creating stories. They can be driven and created by influencers. These influencers can relatively inexpensively get their insight from their followers, their target audience, or from search engine optimization tools. These stories can come from brands or even artificial intelligence, sorting through all the massive amount of available information. These stories are then made available to a number of different outputs, such as chatbots or some sort of content-driven uh, information driven by demographics. It can even be measured by various KPIs. Now, this is just a sample of where all the output goes. The previous slide shows all kinds of outputs. I'm sure you can name many others as well. We're going to explore behind the scenes following the IVRA model, or Interactive Virtual Unified Retail Model. We start with the business strategy. We then identify value streams and capabilities in the business architecture area. Then we want to identify what are the business processes required to execute those capabilities. We want to identify who performs these processes in the business or organization area. And how are they done? Is the technology identified in the enterprise architecture area? And of course, we want to measure for success with the business intelligence to give us the feedback we need to keep the business on track to satisfy the business strategy. Basically, what gets measured gets done. And then we want to look at the future and what the social world will lead to. So we start our track with the business strategy. And there you want to identify some goals that might be related to your social media. For example, you want to do innovation. So do you collaborate with customers to drive future products and services? Brand health, you want to measure the attitudes and conversations and behaviors towards your brand. Customer experience, you want to improve your relationship with customers and their experience with your brand. Market optimization, you want to improve the effectiveness of your marketing programs. Operational efficiency, where and how your company reduces your expenses. Or maybe your goal is revenue generation, where and how your company generates revenue. So if you look now at the strategy, here's three areas. You want to listen, understand, and act strategy. And this is where you look at things like sediment and chatter analysis tactics. You targeted advertising tactics, maybe user-generated tactics. The next you may want to look at attract and influence type strategies. And this is where you think it, look at things like your check-in tactics, your social graph analytics tactics, or maybe crowdsourcing and co-creation tactics. Then finally, you want to engage and involve strategy. And this might involve things like gamification or Facebook commerce tactics, maybe social shopping tactics, or even group buying tactics. So once you've identified your social strategy, you need to move to the next stage where you identify the value streams necessary to focus your company on the execution of that strategy. It could be something like unified commerce, which I'm going to have a whole class on that coming up shortly. Buy online, pick up in the store. 
customer value streams, or maybe direct store delivery value streams, or how about a direct consumer value streams? You know, there's a whole set of processes making that work. Fulfill in store value stream, or purchasing value stream, return item value stream. This is a critical one, particularly in the online world. And of course, you want to sell items. Now that you have the focus identified with the value streams, you identify the capabilities needed to accomplish that value stream. From there, you need to select the business processes necessary to accomplish those capabilities. You are now starting to focus your company on the first leg of executing your strategy, the business process. All business processes are necessary to run your company. However, some business processes are more important to successfully executing your strategy. These are the ones you need to focus on. This is also where many companies fail. That is, they focus on a process that isn't critical to their strategy. So you want to spend time identifying those important business processes. So now we go to the next leg, the associates, who actually do the work to accomplish that capability. In the case of social media, the marketing, the human resources, selling, merchandising, and customer service functions carry the primary lead. So where does social media come from? That is the world of enterprise architecture, or the third leg in our stool. This world is huge. Here is a sample of areas where data needs to be aggregated to understand the entire social media world. Of course, blogs, website, emails, gamification, and chat rooms are critical. But it also includes areas like bookmarks, social shopping, social retail analytics, social graph analytics, check-ins, videos, forums, group buying, targeted advertising, and user-generated content. Unfortunately, we only have a few minutes to cover this slide. In a modern retail architecture, these each become services. That makes them independent from each other with only the global standard interface used to communicate between the services. The beauty of this approach is you can replace a service without having to change the other services which use its information. This slide identifies six standard interfaces between the various applications needed to execute a social media ecosystem. The big one is pause lock or the output of your point of sale. That's basically the lifeblood of retail. The next one is stored value. That's where you deal with things like gift cards. The next one is customer. That's the heart of retail. Inventory. It's absolutely critical in a unified commerce world. You can't properly make sure you have the stuff to sell to your, your customers if you don't have good track on your inventory. The data model. That's needed to store information from a huge number of different sources. The ARCH data model contains over 800 tables and 8,000 attributes. The data warehouse. How do I effectively focus the business intelligence on the areas I've identified in my business strategy? The beauty is these standards already exist at omg.org retail. This means you don't have to try and replicate the extensive information that's already in existence. Just use it. In fact, there are over 3,000 use cases to help you understand how to use this massive body of work. You now have the processes, people, and information in place. So how do you keep them focused on the strategy? These groups of KPIs are the answer. We start with social media followers KPIs. This is basically the number of subscribers you've got. You measure the awareness KPIs. This is the number of visits you get. How about measuring the engagements KPI? How many bookmarks and links do you have? You drive traffic KPIs. This is use of the keywords. You find advocates and fans KPIs. These are friends and fans. You can increase the brand share of voice KPIs. This is pretty much the number of posts. And then the social media footprint. So what is your ranking? And then in the end, there's this clout score. It's an aggregated score based on the level of influence an influencer has. And it's based on the three categories of true rich, 
application probability and your network influence. Thank you. My the Wizard of Pod. My name is Richard Halter. Please check out my book, Art for Retail, using technology to turn your consumers into customers and make a profit. It's available on Kindle. Thank you.